Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the mathematical relation between discrete time Fourier transform and discrete time Fourier series. That is, we will derive the expressions for DTFT from discrete time Fourier series. So, DTFT from discrete time Fourier series. Consider a periodic signal x tilde of n. Consider a periodic signal x tilde of n. That is a discrete periodic signal that might look like following. So, given this periodic signal, so given this periodic signal x tilde of n the discrete time Fourier series can be defined as follows that is x tilde of n is the synthesis equation is given by x tilde of n equal to summation for values of k a k e power j k 2 pi small n by capital N. So, this summation gives the synthesis equation for discrete time Fourier series this synthesis equation now the analysis equation that is the value of the coefficients a k is given by the analysis equation that is the values of the coefficients a k is given by a k is equal to 1 by n summation or the values of small n x tilde of n multiplied by e power minus j k 2 pi into small n by capital N. This is the analysis equation. Now consider an, a periodic signal that is a periodic signal and a periodic signal x of n which is actually equal to the periodic signal for the values of n less than n1 that is for absolute values of n less than n1 this periodic signal x of n is equal to x tilde of n that is x of n is basically equal to one period of the periodic signal x tilde of n so this is a so this is an a periodic signal and this is equal to one period of the periodic signal x tilde of n. Now in the analysis equation we can replace x tilde of n with x of n because x of n is equal to 0 outside this interval that is outside the interval n modulus of n less than n1 which is same as this index of this summation. Therefore based on this definition the coefficient c a k is equal to 1 by n summation small n equal to minus n1 to capital N1 x of n because these are the values of n for which x of n is non-zero. So, we have summation from minus n1 to plus n1 x of n multiplied by e power minus j k2 pi small n by capital N. So, this is the new analysis equation and this is valid because x of n is zero outside this interval. So, since x of n is equal to 0 for values of n outside this interval since this is true because from our definition we can rewrite the summation of that is the equation for a k as follows that is a k is equal to 1 by n summation for values of n from minus infinity to plus infinity x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k right capital n so since values of x of n are basically 0 outside this interval, we can basically change the index of summation from minus n1 to plus n1 to minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, by sending n to the left side, we have n times a k is equal to the summation. This n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k over capital N. Now, let us define a function x of omega is basically envelope of n times a k 
that is assume that ak has the following structure that is this is n times ak assuming that this sequence is n times ak then x of omega is basically its envelope so this is x of omega so clearly at omega equal to omega k which is equal to 2 pi into k by capital n x of omega k is equal to n times a k thus x of omega is a is the envelope of the sequence n a k n times a k so now based on the definition of this envelope and the definition of n times a k you can clearly see that the value x of omega is equal to the sum that is the values of n from minus infinity to plus infinity x of n multiplied by e power minus j omega n where omega where omega k that is discrete values of omega omega k is equal to 2 pi k by n and thus the continuous for continuous values of omega and the x of omega is defined as this infinite sum that is summation from n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n that is or a periodic signal multiplied by this exponential e power minus j omega n now this is the analysis equation of dtft now from the synthesis equation of the discrete time fourier series that is x tilde of n equal to the sum a k multiplied by e power j k 2 pi n by capital n that is this is a synthesis equation of the discrete time fourier series now by using the relation between a k and x of omega that is x of omega k is equal to n times a k we have summation 1 by n x of omega k multiplied by e power j k omega naught n now based on the definition n times a k equal to x of omega k that is at omega k is equal to 2 pi k by n we define a new value omega naught which is equal to 2 pi by n then omega k is equal to k times omega naught hence n a k n times a k becomes x of k times omega naught now by using this value instead of a k x tilde of n is equal to summation and a k is replaced by x of k omega naught divided by n that is x of k times omega naught divided by n multiplied by e power j k and we have 2 pi by n which is assumed to be equal to omega naught into n so this is the new synthesis equation and since we assumed that omega naught is equal to 2 pi by n we can rewrite n as 2 pi divided by omega naught that is 1 by n can be replaced by omega naught by 2 pi this, in, this implies that the synthesis equation x tilde of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi multiplied by summation omega naught that is 1 by n is replaced by omega naught by 2 pi so we have omega naught multiplied by x of k omega naught that is the envelope the specific values of the envelope x of omega that is specific values at different k's and then we have e power j omega naught into k n so this is the new synthesis equation still it is for the periodic signal x tilde of n now we have to look at the process of how now we have to look at the process of converting this definition to a inverse dtft of the signal x of n now based on the current result that is x tilde of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi summation omega naught multiplied by x of k omega naught multiplied by e power j k omega naught n graphically we can represent this summation as follows that is now let us look at the graphical representation of this summation that is we basically have a series of rectangles that is these rectangles have height equal to x of k times omega naught multiplied by the exponential e power j k omega naught n and the height equal to I mean the height equal to this product and the width equal to omega naught that is the difference should be between k omega naught that is the value at, at this point which is k omega naught and the value at this point which is k 
plus 1 k plus 1 into omega naught so the difference between these two values that is the width of the rectangle is omega naught therefore x tilde of n is basically a summation of these rectangles of course divided by 1 by 2 pi therefore x tilde of n is sum of areas of these rectangles now let us increase the value of n to infinity that is in the limit as n tends to infinity that is the number of values increase to infinity and omega naught reduces to zero which is basically true for the aperiodic signal then this summation of the areas of the rectangles basically becomes integration that is summation in the definition of x tilde of n the summation becomes integration that is the width of these rectangles become infinitesimally small we have to replace omega naught with d omega that is the different the, therefore and as n tends to infinity and omega naught tends to zero x tilde of n becomes an aperiodic signal which is x of n it is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral x of omega e power j omega and d omega and also note that as n tends to infinity and omega naught tends to zero that is these discrete values k omega naught k plus 1 omega naught and so on can be replaced by the continuous value omega that is that is the values of the coefficients a k are now representing the envelope itself remember that the value a k times n is equal to x of omega k as the value of n becomes very large and the width of the rectangle that is omega naught becomes very small is basically is representing a continuous signal that is it becomes x of omega that is the sequence basically represents the envelope itself thus thus we have the synthesis equation of the discrete time Fourier transform that is this is the synthesis equation of dt ft thus by exploiting the periodic structure t and the and defining an envelope on the coefficient c a k and finally decreasing the size of the rectangle in the definition of x tilde of n that is x tilde of n is basically a summation of the areas of the rectangles decreasing the width of the rectangles and increasing the number of values to infinity we are basically deriving the discrete time Fourier transform from discrete time Fourier series thanks for watching